Rich Coe's here bringing you another edition of Three Stooges Stooge Palooza. And if you have any doubts that I'm a Three Stooges fan, take a look at these. These are some Three Stooges masks that I sculpted and cast back in my younger days. You would uh, make them out of clay and then cast them in plaster and then use liquid latex to pour into it to make the mask thing. There's Larry and this is Mo here. And uh, with age, these are probably about over 20 years old, uh, they start to dry out so they don't exactly retain their their shape, but they do make you look darn attractive anyway. And <laughs> we've gotten plenty of uh, attractive mail and email from you folks out there who've been watching. Again, we thank you. A lot of really nice responses and uh, some nice reaction to our Censored Stooges show. Let's get to an email from Mike Cobart who says, does Curly Joe, Joe Besser, well, actually, Joe Besser was just Joe. Curly Joe was Curly Joe Dorita. But did Joe Besser do the voice of Babu, the genie that goes yapple-dapple on Scooby-Doo? I really need to know. You must have quite a life if that's something you really need to know. Yes, actually, it was Joe Besser who did some cartoon voices for Hanna-Barbera. I think that genie appeared in a cartoon version of I Dream of Genie that was maybe a part of the Scooby-Doo show at one time. But it was indeed him. Yappled apple, or was he just asking for Snapple? We really don't know. Here's an interesting bit of information, not a moment too soon, from George Balsamo of Montgomery, Illinois. He says, in the mid-1970s, there was a grassroots movement to put the Three Stooges into Elgin City Hall. There's six seats on the Elgin City Council, and three seats go up for grabs in each election. In 1975 city election, the Stooges fared quite well as write-in candidates. Mo got four votes, Larry got seven votes, and Curly got five votes. And, uh... George says he wanted to write them in, but was told that that would spoil his ballot. And due to a law passed in 1986, writing votes are counted only for candidates who make a formal declaration of their candidacy and election with the election officials. So, obviously, Mo, Larry, and Curly were not available to make that. But we appreciate that. That's a little bit of information from Elgin. And uh, take a look at this picture here. We'll put up on the screen for you. A nice drawing by Robert Workman of the Three Stooges, and we appreciate his artwork. If you have some artwork you'd like to send, please send it in, and we'll try to put that on as well. And let's see what else we've got here. Another nice email here from Tony Eugene Brown of Chicago, who asks, why did they call the, the, the Three Stooges when there were actually five Stooges, Mo, Larry, Curly, Shemp, and Joe? Actually, it was six Stooges, if you count Curly Joe. Well, the reason was that the act was called the Three Stooges. There were only three of them to begin with, and as members became ill or retired or whatever, they were replaced by one of these other people. So actually, there was never a time when all of them were on the screen at the same time and would be called the Six Stooges. Oh, well, that's something maybe we could try here. Maybe like having your own basketball team or something. Remember, if we want to hear from you or your basketball team, no matter what station on our Knucklehead Network you're watching us, you can write us at this address, Three Stooges, Stooge Palooza, care of WCIU TV, 26 North Halstead, Chicago, Illinois, 60661, or you can email us at stoogecoes at wciu.com. We do read everything that comes in, and we appreciate all the great feedback we've been getting on the program. And up next, as we continue our dummy daycare theme, the Stooges aren't so much put in charge of a child but in improving a child's life. It's one of the rare Stooge films that gets into a more heartwarming than headbanging area as the boys are enlisted to help a sick little girl and set out to find her missing father. An unusual aspect of this film is how many times during it the screen goes to black. And an actor you might recognize in the cast is the little girl's father, played by Ned Glass, who appeared in tons of 1950s and through 70s movies and TV shows. He helped prove the Stooges are nutty but nice on the Three Stooges Stooge Palooza.